He won't be there really. No. But we'll be getting God house ready to dedicate. Amen. Now remember, on the 28th and 29th, we'll be holding services in the lower auditorium. Here we know it won't hold the people. And the gymnasium will be for overflow. On the 30th and 31st, services will be in the main auditorium. And a whole many hundreds there. Now we have three balconies and the lower auditorium and the gymnasium. That'll be used for overflow. Until then, you make your plans to be there. Whatever church you're in, leave it. I mean, leave it and don't go back there. Once God bring you out of falsehood. I know I have some of you women here that was women preachers. I still hear the residue in your spirit. <laughs> Amen. God be my helper. You stay around this. We're going to cast that preaching devil out of you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, it takes time for some folk to come out of things. They may physically come out, but in their spirit and in their body, still there. That's why we have to keep pounding. I listen at some of y'all sisters and mothers when you testify. <laughs> that lets me know where you came from. And I hear that preaching demon is still in there. Amen. He's not all the way out. But I'm going to press him to the wall with Bible. I see him just nudging. You're ready to exalt the people and build them up and give them an inheritance among them that are sanctified. But you stay around this. It'll come out of you. I don't blame you. I blame that spirit that's in you. You know, when you're in a false church, you will get the wrong spirit. And it takes time to get that spirit off. That's why you need what I'm preaching here. It'll work on you. I mean, work on your heart. Like some of you brothers that may be preachers in some churches. A little assistant pastors. And junior devils. <laughs> homemade bishops and fake elders. I know I have some of you here. And you ought to be here. So the word of God could clean that stuff off you too. Alright, I want to work on endurance today all of us have something to endure and all of us undoubtedly is already enduring something Bible says he that endureth unto the end Follow me in your Bible now. Now in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, we're going to start reading at verse 12. All right. You I can give me some more juice, John. I'm glad to see you back there. You give me some more juice back there. All right, let's have it. Matthew, chapter 24, we'll start reading at verse 12. All right. And because iniquity shall abound. Because sin shall take over. The love of many shall wax cold. Do you hear that? When iniquity, evil, sin, the devil take people over, the love for the word of God wax cold. wax cold. I have a lot of haters. They hate what I'm preaching. Like the sister testified, they tried to get us off the air. Somebody hijacked the webcast and deleted all of the messages. In fact, they got rid of our whole program, our website. They got rid of it. At least they thought they did. But we had backup, though. Plenty of it. They didn't attack no other church. 
Because no other church is causing this kind of problems for the devil. We're giving the devil a fit. That's why the preachers, churchgoers, is hollering about the truth of God's message. And yet preachers are trying to be like it. They want to imitate it. They want to sound like it. But there's one thing missing. They don't have the Spirit of God. When you don't have the Spirit of God, the anointing of God is not there. It's just noise. I thank God for the Spirit of God being in the church. Now, when you are enduring, that's it. It isn't too many people like to endure things. <laughs> I know I don't. <laughs> but when you are enduring something, there's something coming in your life. In some cases, you're not ready for. And there are some things coming in your life that you are ready for. Sometime when we endure something, it'll come through people. Through some man through some woman, yeah. through your children, That's right. through your father, through your mother, through some preacher, That's right. through your job. Mm. But all of it is designed, it's going to do two things. Yeah. Make you or break you. That's right. I remember coming up, I endured plenty. Yes, you did. And I'm still enduring. That's right. I'm standing here today by God's permission because I had to give myself over to endure everything That's right. willingly. That's right. Think of it. Willingly endure. Willingly. Because if you can't outrun what you're going through, you might as well be willingly put up with it. That's right. He that, but he that, at this. now in Matthew 24, when iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. How many here hmm. sin have taken over so great you love a little of the truth? Hmm. Notice what I said. You don't love all of it. Just a little of it. That's right. The parts that break up your second marriage, you don't love that. Right. You want to hold on to that part. That's right. The part where you have to give up your fake preaching title. Hmm. Many don't love that. No. But you have to endure. You know, some endurance is good. Right. For the soul. And some endurance, they don't feel good to the flesh. Now, everybody that wants to be saved have to endure this message here. <laughs> That's right. That's good for the soul. Don't feel good to you though. No. But what I'm preaching, your spirit, your body, yeah. and your soul yeah. have to endure all of it. All of it. It strips away from you what you want to do and what you're used to doing. That's right. It replaces your desire with the desires of God. That's right. And bring you under subjection to a rule. Thank God that your flesh is not used to have it. That's right. Listen at this. And because iniquity shall abound. Because iniquity shall abound. The love of many. The love of many. Shall wax cold. I travel the world. Hmm. And I preach in front of many thousands. That's right. And there are many people that hate. At some time after service people shake my hand. A lot of folks think everybody's glad they're shaking my hand. <laughs> there have been some people shake my hand and said to me, I can't stand you. <laughs> One man shook my hand and said, hmm, I'm surprised you still living. You should have been killed long ago. Lord. <laughs> but the truth ain't going nowhere. No, it's not. All the apostles that walk with Jesus are dead now. That's right. I want this to be good for you that says there are no apostles are now. No apostles. They that walk with Jesus, all of them dead. That's right. But Jesus said, Lo, I'm with you always. Always. Even 
until the end of the world. Now the world didn't end. No. How is he with the apostles? Because hmm. they did. They did. And he said, I'm with you always. That's right. Even until the, until end, of the, the end of the world. Their world ended. That's right. They're dead. They're dead. How is he with them if hmm. they're not here now? He have to call and send somebody. Make an apostle out of them. That's right. And them get, then give them a charge to preach the same thing. That's right. Hold the same rule. Hold that line tight. Hold it tight. Not budge to the left, nor to the right, but stick to the same thing. So he'll be with them, with them. as he was with the others. That's right. That's my problem. <laughs> I said, that's my problem. That's right. I was made an apostle many years ago, and being made the same God that was with them, he's with me now. That's right. It don't feel good all the time. No. You're not always in the spirit. No. You're not always happy and jumping and joyful because you have something to endure. In fact, you have things to endure that many people will never endure. We are troubled on every side. Do you hear that? In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and Hear the Apostle Paul here. Come on, son. We are troubled on we every are side. We are troubled on every side. Yet not distressed. Not distressed. We are perplexed. <laughs> we are what? We are perplexed. Perplexed. But not in despair. Not in despair. Persecuted. Persecuted. But not forsaken. Not forsaken. Cast down. Cast down. But not destroyed. Not destroyed. Always bearing about in the Always body. Always bearing about in the body. In the body. The dying of the Lord Jesus. Do you hear that? That's right. When you are enduring what God wants you to endure, that's right. There's some dying, offering up. Suffering that you may not be prepared for. In fact, it'll challenge your salvation. That's right. See, are you as strong as you think you are? That's right. I tell folk, if you can't take a, folks a little backbiting you and talking about you, shake your hand wrong in church, you haven't even started. <laughs> Amen. You haven't even started at all. At all. When you think of what they went through, look at Jesus himself. Oh, yes. Knelt to the cross. Yes. Pierced him in the side. Out came blood and water. Put on his head a crown of thorns. That's right. And drove the nails in his hands and feet. Can you imagine the pain that he had? Amen. And he went through all that for us stubborn, hard head, hell deserving people. A man of sorrows. What? A man of sorrow. Look at him. In Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 3. A man of sorrow. Of sorrow. And acquainted, with, acquainted grief. with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. Yes. He was despised. Amen. When you stand for the word of God, look for people to despise you. That's right. Look for your own family members. That's right. Your brothers look to be despised by people right in the church. That's right. Already claim they're walking with God. Mm -hmm. You're certainly going to be despised by other religions. That's right. He was despised. And these religions claim they believe in Jesus. That's true. But they despise you, hate you, can't stand you. That's right. The contracts that was put out on me was from religion. Amen. Religious people say we want you dead. Religious people say we will bomb your church. Religious people. Amen. Them that claim they are born again Christians. <laughs> That's right. They are just Bible toting devils. That's all. God people. That's all. God said my people will hear my voice. My voice. And a stranger. They will not follow. They will not follow. Now, in order to be God's people, you must be willing to hear everything. Amen. Everything. That's it. What you don't like, what you're not up to, what you're trying to come up to. That's right. You got to be willing to hear it and ask God to help you come up to it. And because iniquity shall abound. What happened? The love of many shall wax cold. All right. But he that shall endure. He that shall endure. Unto the end. How long? Unto the end. Not he that start and stop. That's right. 
He that get in the spirit a little bit and just jump around and whatnot. All right. All right. Something may come that evening. Hmm. May take you right out of the spirit. That's right. Something may come that night. That's right. You forgot you even spoke in tongue that day. Amen. Most people have not prepared themselves to endure. There's a great misrepresentation. Yes. Of walking with God. Oh, yes. Don't you see people out in the street passing out flyers and smiling all the time? That's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing but the devil. That's nothing but because the devil. Because if you walk this way all the time, you're not walking around here smiling 24 hours a day like something wrong with you. Acts chapter 14 and verse 22. Listen at this. Confirming the souls of the disciples. Confirming the souls of the disciples. And exhorting them to continue. Exhorting them to, to do what? To continue. Keep it up. In the faith. In the faith. And that we must through much tribulation. Glory to God. Amen. We must through much tribulation through a whole lot of suffering enter into the kingdom of God. You're not going to be saved without tribulation. That's right. Who? Oh, nobody. So when you find folk out here That's passing right. out flyers and smiling and laughing and talking about do you know Jesus? <laughs> you know why he laughing so hard? He used to do that stuff. <laughs> The devil had them. I had my flyer. He had him. He was a paper passer. <laughs> yes. Smiling and laughing on his way to hell and sending others. Right. That's right. Because if you pass people the wrong information, That's it. they read it and believe it. And believe it. And die believing it, they will be lost because of you. That's right. Think of it now. Think of it. Think of that. The Bible says. That's he that endures. But he that shall endure unto the end. Unto the end. The same shall be saved. Most people plan to endure just for a while. Just for a while. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> just for a while. Just for a while. In their mind, I'm just going to endure it for maybe about an hour. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to clear it up and make sure this thing is over. It's over. That's right. And get right back where I was. But brother... Hmm. God may bring something on you, mm -hmm. or the devil may bring something on you. That's right. And you have to endure it year in, year out, year in, and year out, and you either get stronger from it, right. or weaker from it. You will either have a testimony from it, right. or you will turn on God. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, and at Be verse quick. 2. What is that? Set thy heart aright. Set thine heart right. And constantly endure. Constantly. How often? Constantly endure. John, give me some more power back there. Amen. Constantly. Constantly, Constantly. endure. Constantly? Constantly. No let up? Constantly. That's right. I would like for things to get smoother. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. But if you walk with God, Hallelujah. things will not get smoother. No. No, no. The Bible says as Christ suffered in the flesh. That's right. He said, arm yourselves likewise. The same mind. Then they tell you to have the same, the same mind. mind. For as much then as Christ. Think like he thought. As suffered for us in the flesh. Do you hear this? In 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 1. For as much then as Christ. As much then as Christ. Has suffered for us in the flesh. For us in the flesh. Arm yourselves likewise. Get ready. With the same mind. Get what? With the same mind. Same mind. I look at some people jumping and shouting and bouncing around all over. I say, all right. <laughs> That's right. How long is you going to be in the church? That's right. That's right. Because all that jumping don't mean nothing. No. When it only lasts two years. That's right. Then all the righteousness that you've done. That you did. Is forgotten. That's right. Thank God. That's right. You done been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Walked with God for a year or two years or three years. Then the world took right. you over. Right. You went right back out there. Like you were before you came to God. That's right. All your three years. That's right. Of walking with God don't mean nothing. When I shall say to the righteous. Listen at the book of Ezekiel here. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 33. I want this to be good for you that's on the borderline. Yeah. 
Don't know whether to stay with God because something is pulling you. That's right. Whether to stay with God That's right. or stay or go out in the world. Trying right. to decide now. Yeah. Many preachers are trying to decide. Oh, yes. Whether to stay with God or go right back to that false church where they have pulpit freedom. That's right. They have freedom to lie at freedom. will. That's right. No anointing was required to be a preacher. That's right. Just an educational background. Tell the folk anything you want to hear. But my God, when you come down to what the word of God said, yeah. there's a plumb line to follow here. Oh, yes. Listen to what it says. In Ezekiel 33 and verse 13. All right. When I shall say to the righteous. When I shall say to them that walk right. That he shall surely live. He shall surely live. If he trusts to his own righteousness. If he trusts. In his own righteousness. Thank God to his own righteousness. And commit iniquity. Commit iniquity. All his righteousness. All his righteousness. Shall not be remembered. What? But for his iniquity that he has committed. Uh -huh. He shall die for it. You hear that? That's right. That's right. Imagine walking with God for 10 years, yeah. 20 years. After 20 years, you retire. That's right. That's right. That's a problem with church people. They put in for whole early. Early. Early Holy Ghost retirement. <laughs> That's right. No more fasting now. That's right. No more praying. You on your way to retire. That's right. No more. Loving God like you used to. Your zeal is affected. Yeah. No more zealous. No more have a desire to press through everything and come to God's house. That's right. Your righteousness is All, finishing. That's right. All his righteousness, righteousness shall not be remembered. All his righteousness. Everything you've done right shall not Baptism, be remembered. Baptism. That's right. Receiving the Holy Ghost. Singing on the choir. Fasting. Praying, That's right. jumping and shouting. God, go forget that you ever done one thing. All his righteousness shall not be remembered. All of it shall not be remembered. Hallelujah. This is a scary thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. When I came up in false earth, they used to say, going to heaven anyhow. Hmm. <laughs> That's a lie out of hell. That's a lie. I wish it was true. Oh, yes. <laughs> we ain't nobody going to heaven anyhow. Not anyhow. Some folks say, when they testify, you know, saints, God had to save me. Who are you? <laughs> that's right. You sinners that are in here, that's living like the devil, living together, not married, yeah. smoking, drinking. Some of you were smoking on your way here. Amen. I'm going to say it. <laughs> Lower your smoke all in your car, all around your house. Yeah. With your different bottles of liquor, Jack Daniels, and you and your girlfriend came to service this afternoon. That's wonderful. That's, <laughs> That's right. Living like, Living like the devil. Clubbing, partying, doing everything you want to do because there was no rod, yeah. no discipline. No preaching being done like it ought to be done right. in the churches. That's right. That's why all of Israel yeah. rose up to play. Rose up to play. So the church now, yeah, me good. Amen. Is in play mode. Yeah, play, that's right. Religion is in play mode. They're playing with God, playing with their soul. Preachers don't care. No. Members don't care. That's right. Nobody is thinking about eternity with God. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? But he that shall endure unto the end. He that shall endure. Unto the end. The same shall be saved. The same. The same. Yes. Now you have to keep this up until your end come. That's right. Now some of you, your end may be 12 o'clock midnight. Amen. Tonight. Tonight. Some of you, your end may be after this first service. You get in your car, going back home, and there's another car waiting, waiting on you. My Lord. They come at you, head on. And this is the last message you heard. That's true. That's true. You better prepare, prepare. to meet God. That's right. 
everybody listening in and everybody that's jam packed in here now. Amen. You have to make preparations to meet God. That's right. And the order to make preparations to meet God, you have to hear God's word that prepares your heart, prepares your soul, prepares your mind. That's it right. changes the way you used to think. Oh, yes. The way you used to think you was caught up in your old color. <laughs> I'm black. I'm going to be saved. If being black is going to be saved, I'm leaving the pulpit. That's right. That means I have it made. You have it made. I don't care if you're black as the tar on the street. That's right. Or white as the Pillsbury Dough Man. All flesh is grass. What? All flesh is grass. I want you to hear me, black man. In Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 6. Black woman, black man, white man, white woman. The, hear what the Bible says. The voice said cry. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. The voice said, do what? Cry. Cry. And he said, what shall I cry? What shall I tell the people? All flesh is all grass. All flesh is grass. That's all you are. That's all we are. That's why I'm not impressed with nobody. That's right. All flesh is grass. It's grass. That got your mama, your daddy, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you. I'm talking to a whole lawn today. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All flesh is talking grass. Talking to a whole lawn, a Amen. whole garden. A garden. Thank God, and I got the lawnmower of the scriptures. That's right. That cut this grass, God knows. That's right. And we're going to cut it very low. Very, very close, Pastor. Very Do close. Do you hear this? All flesh is grass. You that think you're something when you're nothing. Amen. Amen. Where you come from? I meet some people that say, I'm from Bishop so and so, and they just stuck out so happy. I wouldn't care if you're from heaven. <laughs> that's right. Everybody that's come to this earth have the same thing to follow and the same thing to obey. You got to repent of your sins, be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, obey what God say do, or else go to hell. Go to hell. That's right. You and your bishop. That's right. Are you listening? All flesh is grass. Oh, I got you two women preaching. All flesh. You that still have your woman preacher hangover, it goes for you too. That's right. All you woman preachers that's here, you might as well come out the pulpit come and on. you just planning your proud sermon. Right. You young women that's planning your that's proud right. sermon at the church you attend. <laughs> you brothers that's trying to push your wife up in the pulpit. Right. That shows you the New York impact. <laughs> that's right. You don't have no spine. That's right. The word of God says the head of every woman is the man. He's the man. And if she wants to know anything, the Better. Bible ask says, ask your husband at home. At home. At home. 